Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be completing my Billy Eyelash portrait. I've left it for quite some time because I just couldn't get back into finishing it but today we are going to finish it. So if you have been watching my channel you'll know that I have three live streams that I did previously of my progression of drawing Billy Eyelash. So if you want to check those out, I will drop the links in the description and you can have a look at those. Then come back and we'll carry on with this video where I complete the portrait. So without further ado, let's head over to my drawing and we'll see if we can get it completed. I'm pretty happy with how this has come along. I'm just going to do more on the hair, uh, add in some more of the white colour pencil to make it look more realistic and I'll probably use some of my graphite pencils to just put in some of the darker shades or shadows or whatever that you can see in the hair and I'll complete her part of her clothing as well but I'm, I am really happy with how the face is looking. I'll obviously I'll once I get that finished I'll then look at the whole portrait and just check to see if there's any adjustments or any additions I need to make to it and if I'm happy with it obviously I won't touch it but that's what I normally do. So we'll just carry on sorting out her hair. I generally like to use um, <clears throat> when I'm drawing her hair, I like to look at it as sections rather than trying to do each strand of hair because that's just that would be impossible to do. Um, and you can get the same effect of looking like, you know, hair just by taking sections and basically the lights and darks in the hair. I quite like her blonde hair look. She actually suits her better than her darker hair or green and black hair that she had. I'm just going to put in some 2B pencil uh, just to define out the hair. And I'll blend it all once I've put down enough of the pencil. I generally hold my pencils quite far back because you have more control over uh, what you're 
putting down because if you do it, hold your pencil too close, you, the pressure that you're putting onto your paper, you'll put too much down of the graphite or whatever uh, medium you're using. If obviously if I need to put more pressure down I will, but just now I'm just doing this method of making sure that I'm not putting too much down so it's easier to lift it off if you do make a mistake somewhere. The Strathmore Tone Tan Paper is one of my favourite to use for drawings. I just like the contrast you get with your drawings because you can use the tan behind of the tan on the paper to it just makes your drawings look really good. I don't know why I've kind of put this away for a while and I kept saying oh, I'll take it out and I'll finish it because I didn't I don't actually have that much to do on this portrait but I just I don't know what it is I think you get like that sometimes when you get kind of stuck on a, a drawing that you're doing or painting or whatever but I, I'm actually glad that I've taken it out and I've decided yep I'm definitely getting this done you're the same, you probably have a lot of drawings that you've never finished. I always like to lay down So all the stuff I need to get onto the paper and then I'll blend it together and if I think there's more stuff, more uh, medium I need to put down, I'll put it down after. I'm not going to cover all of, all 
the whole paper because I want to use some of the tan in this paper to define her hair as well. Okay, it looks quite good. Yes. So now I'm going to use my flat brush just to blend this hair in a bit. I think it's looking really good. I'll just give the side a wee blend of it as well. is looking now so I think I'm going to leave it at that and move on to this part of her clothing. So for that I'm going to use a 4B pencil because it's quite a dark sort of hooded top she's got on but you can only see part of it obviously because her hair is covering most of it. So I'm just going to get that done. together just nicely I think. Mm -hmm. 
That's looking really good. What do you think? blend in her clothing I'm just going to use one of these cotton bud q-tip These are quite really good things to use actually, uh, blending, uh, blending the cotton bud q-tips, they're, really, they're pretty um, cheap to get as well and very handy for any kind of, especially dry medium obviously. So now I blended that in, I'm going to just go over it again with the, my 4B pencil just to put any darker areas into it. Thank you. 
Just about be there now. Yeah, I think this is it finished. I don't think there's anything else I need to change on it or adjust or add into. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? Leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think of it. And that, as I say, is the finished portrait of Billy Eilish. If you would like to support my channel, the best way you can do that is to like and comment on this video and also subscribe to my channel as I would love to have you along to watch more art content from me. And that brings this video to a close. So thanks again for joining me on this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.